Hey, what's going on, people? How you guys doing, man? It's the Rent Dog Stream. I am back with another video. And yes, the light is dim because my mom wants to save electricity. So yeah, I dimmed the light a little bit so you may not get a good glimpse of me. I really apologize for that. And I wish the video was in high quality to say the least. So here goes nothing. Um, um, I, I miss Smack. I've been missing three Smackdowns in a row. Quite frankly, I am trying to catch up on watching the. Smackdown when Edge was uh, the host, I've just been busy and stuff, so it's been a crazy weekend for me those past three weekends, so haven't had time, so I really apologize to myself mostly, and I don't know about you guys, but I apologize to myself for not watching Smackdown the past three Smackdowns. I'm back to school now and I have four classes, so it's going to be crazy for me, so there you go. Okay, first match I want to mention is Divas Champion Kelly Kelly versus Beth Phoenix. Okay, alright. Beth Phoenix has been on a, is going back on a roll ever since Raw after um, pinning uh, Kelly Kelly to nail the Glam Slam. And we'll see how Beth Phoenix can really carry herself in this match to see if she wins. So, that's how it goes. So, apparently, um, I think it's going to be a good match. I think it's going to be good. Um, I really can't wait for that to happen. Um, on top of that, um, I want to see Beth Phoenix finally get a win. Because Kelly Kelly has been almost like three months now that she's been overcoming uh, Beth Phoenix from Night of Champions to SummerSlam. So it's been almost two months now. Not three. So two months. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. But. We gotta see if Beth Phoenix can win this one. If she doesn't win this one and she can't fails to overcome, then it ruins the purpose of the alliance. It's ridiculous. Lake Cool gets silly title reigns, and the Divas of Doom doesn't. And they should be getting the title reign, and they could be a stronger salvation. But if Beth Phoenix wins, it would end the feud with Kelly Kelly and Beth Phoenix. So I'm thinking that's where they go. I think Beth Phoenix would get the win to end the feud, and then Ave Torres will probably step up. And then, if Eve Torres wins the title, there could be a jealousy feud between Kelly Kelly and Eve Torres. And I think that's where they could build up from there. So, but if, if Beth Phoenix does win this one, I'll be excited. You know, I'm really going for Beth Phoenix. First female varsity wrestler, so, in high school. So, that's what I was glad about. So, hopefully we get to see, get a good glimpse. And, um, yeah, I'll be excited. So, yeah, we'll see how Beth Phoenix goes from here. Strongest, powerful diva like Natalia and Beth. They're doing good. Now they're telling the story with the divas, and it's going very well. So, oh, 728, I probably starts in almost a half hour, so for me. So, those who, are, who, those who already saw, I probably don't spoil it. I'm excited about watching it. WWE Championship Triple Threat Hell in a Cell match. Okay, um, CM Punk, Alberto Dorito, and John Cena. The WWE Champion John Cena in a match. John Cena, I think um, it's going to be good if um, CM Punk... I don't know who I'm going for, but I'm going for... Um, it's hard to tell, because I like uh, all three of them, especially. I'll go for Alberto Del Rio to walk out of the cell to somehow just survive the match. You have uh, CM Punk, John Cena beat the stuffing out of each other towards the end. Alberto Del Rio somehow gets up. He uh, throws John Cena, winds up throwing John Cena out of the ring. And then um, Alberto Del Rio will get the victory. But I think John Cena's winning this one. Yeah, hands down, John Cena's going to win the NSL match. And, you know, this would be a point where we could see uh, Punk... And Del Rio continue their feud and John Cena feud with someone else. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I highly doubt that would. But, yeah, I, I'm going for um, John Cena to win this one, hands down. He's winning this one, hands down, without a doubt. He's going to be Super Cena, and then he's going to win and continue his title reign all the way till WrestleMania. But I still want to see that WrestleMania match, The Rock and John Cena. That's what I'm going for. John Cena has been in numerous WrestleMania matches, six WrestleMania title matches for six years straight, so I think John Cena needs to continue that reign. So that's what I'm going for. It's John Cena. World Championship Hell in a Cell match. Uh, I'll be... I have to say, I'll be pissed if Randy Orton wins this one. 
then it's going to be a short title reign for Mark Henry. And I think Mark Henry deserves to have the title a little bit longer. And then Randy Orton can finally get it back in Survivor Series. So I think we got to see more of his title reign. So I did miss his SmackDown title reign, but I'm going to check it out for sure. See how the title reign goes on SmackDown. And see how he's been carrying the titles from then. So I have to say I'm rooting for Mark Henry in this one. He's been on a roll. I did get a chance to see him Raw on Raw. I was a little excited. After he beat the stuffing out of the great Kali, his former buddy, well, he temporarily teamed up with them. Remember, he teamed up with uh, Kali to face the Usos and both and dance off then one week after a regular wrestling match. So, that's what Mark Henry was friendly, but now he's mean and more daunt destructionalist. So, I'll see how it goes from there. So, next match. It's going to be confusing. There's a Sin Cara, Blue Sin Cara versus Black Sin Cara. I have to say... The Mystico versus the other Sinkar, I have to say. I have to say I'm going for Mystico Sinkar if, if if that's uh, the, one of the two Sinkars. So, I think this is creative that they have two Sinkars now. I think this is exciting. But the Mystico Sinkar could be like the next Rey Mysterio, and I agree with Jay Vardy. But he's been botching too much, and I think that's why the fans are like jumping down Sinkar's throat about his botching. Uh, on top of that, the other Sinkara has been uh, a little bit excellent in the ring. Whoever the guy is, I think Hunico, Hunico, yeah, has been excellent in the ring, and he hasn't botched very much. So we'll see how this match goes. So we'll see if um, this botch fest could be ceased, and see if those two Sinkaras could put on a great match. Because it's pretty ludicrous to see them, see YouTubers and the YWC talk about Sinkaras botching all over the place. It's, Getting kind of ridiculous, but yeah, he's gonna botch. But you know, it's like they probably can't keep up with Sin Cara because he's like very exploitive in the ring, so he, he's just incredible. So I'll go for that. Um, next match Seamus versus Christian. Okay, Seamus versus Christian. Um, what I heard from SmackDown, Sheamus threw Christian in the ring and then during this title match against Mark Henry. Obviously, Mark Henry's going to win a continuous title reign, but it was great to see a heel-on-heel -heel match. But I wish I saw it. I missed it, but I'm going to watch it for sure. But this Christian and Sheamus feud is going to continue for sure. And for Christian to get payback on Sheamus for and throw him into the pole, I think it was golden. So, uh, we'll see how the Sheamus and Christian feud. But I'm going for Christian to pull an upset win on this one like he did the last time. For the number one contender match, which was good when he slammed uh, Sheamus on the Sheamus's head on the pole to grab him the victory. So uh, I have to say I'm going for Christian on this one to continue the feud because if Sheamus win, the feud's quite quite over, and then there's gonna be nothing more for Christian. Or Christian can whine to get one more match against Sheamus. So so Christian's is is be, being well occupied. So I really have strong respect for that. So this could keep Christian occupied to get him knock him out of the title picture. But, but yeah, so hopefully he has a new heel personality sooner than later or he has um, some sort of a tweener personality. I don't know where they're going to go from there, so uh, I can't wait to see what happens. So I'll be looking forward to it. Um, look forward to Hell in a Cell um, this Sunday on pay-per-view, so yeah, I'll be staying tuned. So um, I don't know how I'm going to, I don't have money for pay-per-view, so I don't know how I'm going to watch it, but we'll see what happens. So... I think the match of the night, I think, um, I can't wait to see. I think it's going to be the triple threat match with John Cena occupied with two people now. So I think this is going to make it more interesting. So I really can't wait for the triple threat match. Then Sin Cara versus Sin Cara is going to be another exciting match. And then Mark Henry needs to win this one to continue his reign. And Beth Phoenix needs to win this one. It's time for the Divas of Doom to be as powerful as Lake Cool was. And, yeah, I can't wait to see Layla's return if, if it's going to happen sooner than later. So, I really can't wait for that. So, yeah, this is basically my video for the Hell in a Cell predictions. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully it's a good review. So, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.